So we're here at the Google Campus here in London, and uh, who are you? I'm Michał Kubacki, I'm inventor of Atawi, the keyboard of the future. So you have a special keyboard design for smartphone? Uh, well, yes, it is, uh, it is a keyboard designed specially for smartphones and for touchscreen devices. So as you can see, we are not based on uh, QWERTY layout, which has been uh, created in 19th century for mechanical devices. What, what is uh, QWERTY? What, is, what, what does it come from? Who invented that? Uh, 19th century. Uh, well, we have a QRT actually uh, over there, so you can have a look. This oh, is. You a can't take anything from there. <laughs> can you just see the video? No, you can't take. Just, uh, just leave it there. There is a yeah, typewriter. This is the original typewriter, and this is why this they is invented the, the QRT for a reason, right? Um, well, the problem with the, with the QRT was that uh, it jams if you type too fast. So, uh, in order to prevent that, they. Uh, they made the layout to slow you down while you're typing. Based and on statistics of the, alpha, uh, of the words based of the on time, maybe, a little uh, bit. Based on statistics and uh, the research that they did at that time. 19th century. Uh, 19th century, yes. So uh, uh, we are, for some strange reason, we are still using this layout on the devices that have no mechanical parts and they don't jam. There's so no I, jamming. There is no j problem with, with jamming. So, so how do you, you invent this? When did you invent this? Uh, well, I started to work on that in when I had when I got my first smartphone, and I was not really happy with the with the keyboard that I had there. And I started to think uh, how we could improve that. Is that ten years ago? Uh, no, I started to think about it in 2006, and then you know I got uh, yeah. interested in this story, and I started to research different uh, systems. So because uh, there was a you know, number of systems on the way who were dealing better with these problems than QRT and they still uh, didn't go, get through. So let's try just a, a test, okay? okay. Let's write uh, in the title, hello, I'm in London. Hello, I'm... I'm in London yeah. and in the text mm -hmm. uh, you can write and I'm eating a cheeseburger at uh, the harbor uh, mm. on Thames at the embankment. Eating. Or maybe you shouldn't write all this. And I'm eating? Yeah, eating a cheeseburger. A. Hey. Yes, and, so, and I'm eating a cheeseburger. Oh yeah, it's fine. But, so, are you claiming this is faster than a normal keyboard? Well, you know, I don't like to claim, I like to prove. So I can maybe show you the speed of, uh, of typing with the, with the numbers. Because there's a number, of, there's a lot of keyboards who claim to be the fastest in the world, but they never give any numbers. Uh, uh, Swipe, for example, is claiming recently that they're the fastest keyboard on the planet, but they don't give, they don't have any numbers to prove that. Well, uh, I'm not claiming that I'm the fastest the fastest keyboard on the planet, but I can tell you that I can write roughly 40, 50 words per minute, uh, which is pretty fast, I believe. So if you want to have a look, is uh, well, let me start now. So it knows when you start, and then it's so you you want me to start again. You want me to start no, again? Cool. Okay. So uh, you just have to write the text that's right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a wireless one. And how would it compare if you use a normal keyboard? You have to finish the whole mm -hmm. thing. Thirty I'm, seconds. I'm okay. trying to keep up, and I can't. It's going by faster than I can see. Yes. So you're starting the beginning of the sentences each time, or? Good. Mm, no, I'm yeah. just doing word for word now. Word for word, okay. Oh yeah, it's just calling, right? All right. Yeah. So I did 40 words per minute. Uh, yeah. It's my average typing speed. I can do up to 53 words per minute. Can, with can try to sw switch to a mind's full of typing. Yeah. Mm. I tried to uh, keep I can, up. You can switch it to, to a keyboard. So I give it to to uh, I give it to Margaret. Oh, can you can you do it? I'm not really proficient with the swipe, so I would really do bad job. So maybe somebody who is really uh, proficient with this kind this of keyboard. One? Yeah, that's the one. So, uh, just one second. Uh, this is a swipe. Ca yeah, can we just? Uh, yeah, we just have to go back for a second because I didn't. Uh, one second. Mm, we need to give you this. And now you should be ready. This is the swipe keyboard that yeah. some people use. Can, can you also switch to... Oh, you made a mistake, you need yeah. to go back then, so... 
uh, can you switch to the like the standard, the regular, not the swipe one? The one uh, this is this in? is the system keyboard, so you can you can. Uh, ah, it can include yeah. swiping and stuff. Yeah, okay. you made a mistake, so you need you. It's not counting okay. the. So uh, you how, can many, see how many people are using this? We have a, a, a group of 1,000 users, more more or less 1,000 users. It's uh, so our beta testers. And uh, what's interesting, they, they are in different parts of the, of the world and they use different languages. Because one of the strengths of this keyboard is that it's uh, uh, working very well wh when, you use, uh, quite, when you use more than one language. And uh, that's why uh, we were really interested in hearing people from different backgrounds. Uh, so we have eight languages now served by, by Atali, but what is... Uh, different from from uh, from uh, qwerty yeah. based keyboard is that uh, we use these languages at the same time so if you want to write in english it's fine if you want to write in german you have uh, these special characters available if you want to write in spanish or uh, portuguese or polish you do it without switching without changing the settings so especially if you are using uh, i don't know two three languages at the same time if you're a translator or uh, uh, if you're re on regular basic, basic uh, using more than one language, this is really a good keyboard for you to, to use. So, what are people saying? What do uh, people tell you? Do well, they think it's let's the get, best? Let's get to the... What to is the, the feedback you get? Let's get to the Google, to the Play Store maybe and you know, just read a couple of, of comments that people that, that people give us. So, uh, this is our, our account. And, uh, Gusto. As you can see, our, our rating is uh, five, full five stars. Nice. And let's just see what people... We have, uh, uh, you know, this, these are our ratings. So, can't beat the size, love the learning mode. Uh, what are they saying here? These are in Polish. Can we get the translation? Uh, well, alphabetic layout is, is fantastic because it's easy to learn. Uh, so more in English maybe because they're gonna be. Uh, but uh, what, what people that complain, people that give a bad rating, what do they say? Uh, we, don't, we as you can see, uh, we had one rating that was three stars only, and people. The only thing that uh, people might complain is that you know it requires like half an hour time to learn this, and for for many people it's uh, it's you, you know when you think ab about applications. It's quite a long time you, to ask somebody for half an hour of their time, you know, in this world. Uh, some people find it quite a lot. But, uh, you know, what you get back, what you get uh, uh, in return is, I think it's worth it. And most of the people, they say it's, it's, really, uh, it's really worth it. Can you go to the web browser and can you type uh, mm -hmm. A, just, just to have an idea a little bit. So explain what you do mm -hmm. when you type okay. A. So that was, uh, you went okay. to blue. Okay, to A is going to be blue to green. It might be handy to see it on our and demo. And then R? Motor. R. So what did you do? Uh, okay, so uh, A is blue to, gr to green. R is orange to, to yellow. And uh, M? M. It's going to be yellow to, uh, to red. D? D is blue to red. E? E is a single tap on, on blue because it's one of the most um, uh, often used letters, so it has very short combination. V? V. And that was what? That v was is going to be red to blue. Red to blue. Uh, and then I? Uh, it's a single tap on green. C? C is uh, blue to orange. E? It's single tap on blue. And S? It's orange to uh, red. All right. And dot? How do you do that? Dot is going to... All the uh, punctuation is uh, starting and finishing on red. So, so, was, so it's going to be red, orange, red in this, in this um, case. And N? N is um, uh, yellow to orange. E? Uh, it's blue again. And T? It's orange. So then, and then enter, what do you do? Uh, you go uh, green, uh, yellow, green, yellow. So that's how you get to do it. The connection here is not, well, it is actually quite fast. So everything is swiping in the bottom of the, the screen. Yep. And everything is there. Nothing is missing. 
Well, at the moment we have eight languages, we have advanced editing tools, we have a um, number of symbols and commands that uh, are only, until now, were only available for uh, computer users. And we did it because some of our beta testers, they are doing very advanced stuff with our keyboard. They are controlling the servers and they needed some specific keys which no other keyboard has. And we just, because we have unlimited number of com commands and symbols that we can use, we just, we just put it there. So if you want to have a look at the list of the commands, uh, and these are our special commands. You see escape and control, which came here by request of one of our users. And I don't think there's another keyboard that would uh, include these this commands. And nice. it's here. So you do have commands, you have customized, customized commands? Uh, well, these these commands came f as a you know as a result of feedback that we get from our beta testers because uh, instead of locking ourselves up in in the in the lab and trying to do this job ourselves, we decided well we live in 21st century and let's just do it you know in much more open way. Let's get the real feedback from the beginning. So uh, that's how we did it. Is it possible for a user to add some extra things? Uh, not, not, at the mo not at the moment. That will be added uh, at a certain point. But uh, uh, first, we want to build a very big and stable user base. Uh, we want to build a community. And then uh, we will uh, open more things. Uh, it would be a you know, bit too complicated at this point if we, if we did it. And you want to scale to SmartWatch, to Google Glass, to ta it works on tablet today? Uh, it works on all Android uh, devices. So all the uh, mobile phones, uh, all the tablets that are running Android, they can use our keyboard. And what's really interesting is that even if you're using the cheapest uh, uh, and smallest Android uh, smartphone, that you, the one that you can buy for 20 pounds, you probably cannot type on the system keyboard because it's just not working really well. And we did the test and we get 35 words per minute on the one of the cheapest and smallest uh, phones on the Android. I hope uh, it's which, true. It is true. Well, you know, uh, if you want to meet again and I can I can prove it to you, I have this phone. So, but that's uh, awesome because the developing world is getting very cheap phones with small screens. They need a better keyboard. Exactly. Well, the, as I said, QRT was never meant to be working on uh, this kind of devices, and it takes a lot of uh, programming and a lot of very cle very clever tricks to make uh, QRT work uh, just in a satisfying way on the smartphone. While this system has been created specifically for this device, that's why we don't have to face all these problems that QRT uh, adopters have. So what do you do in the company? I've what just, is your role? I've just joined the team. I'm helping grow the business, um, looking at how to, how to get all of our marketing messaging lined up and reach out to people and let them know what we're up to and spread the word. So what do you think about the keyboard? I like it. I've been doing the training module, so every day, so every day I've been just doing a little bit of practicing. I'm starting to get all of my short messages. I'm faster now with using the keyboard. So this is an example of the training module, where I've been. Pra it shows me how I need to get to see. I need to start at the blue, and roll here, and it's just building up my muscle memory. And I've been doing this every time I have maybe one or two minutes. I've been building up my muscle memory, and I'm I'm getting faster and faster. So now all my shorter messages are faster with with this. Than with, my, cool. with, than with swipe. How and long I'm does it take to typist. go through all this? Um, I've, um, how many training sessions do you have? It depends how much time you're giving to it. And I'm not getting, giving it anywhere near as much as I'd like. And it's really just been a couple of weeks and I'm already getting uh, maybe well, five minutes this, a week this in total. Has, this is, there's five modules there. So uh, you, know, you have uh, five or six letters in every module. Five or six letters in every module? In, in every module. Okay, you have five. No mistakes. Uh, well, it's. Uh, I'm. I'm still. I'm you're still, still at that stage, and you have to stay until you get to the next level. Yeah, exactly. That's that's how we how we do it. You know, this is easier for us to show for for the uh, for the customers because the next stage is going to be you will not have this uh, uh, this picture here, so you have to do it from the memory, and that's why we. That's why we try to keep it on the on the first level for on the first lesson you know, for uh, so when we present this application. You say half an hour. Is it for real? Uh, half, half an hour is the fastest uh, person who did it. The longest was uh, something uh, more than, just a bit more than an hour. So these are the results that we get from our users. And then they uh, know how to type and they can type everything? You, after this you touch type with this. So after that, when you finish these lessons, you can close your eyes, take your phone and you can, you can type. Because yeah, from this moment on, using muscle memory. Cool. 
All right, so uh, you're talking to device makers and they can license this from you, right? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was the thing that you mentioned, you know, smartwatches and, uh, um, and the wearable computers. Hi, this is the. Everybody's All right, we're leaving. All right, so, so uh, it's free app. There is a free version and there is a full, uh, full version as well. All right, what is a full version? What's the difference? Uh, there's some extra um, functions that, you know, advanced editing and uh, some, uh, some more uh, special, uh, special 